course, to lose its magnetism. And you, as you can see, I mean, it's still stuck pretty good with one side. Okay. Now, this is a conventional way of hooking up a coil. It's just, you know, a coil that's wrapped around a rod that's going to make an electromagnet. What I'm going to do... I want to show you all that hooking this coal up straight to the metal is what does it. Okay, I've got this side. Okay. It's hooked up straight. I can barely get enough juice to even lift it. Much less whenever I disconnect it. I don't get nothing. Yet, this that I charged this morning can still lift it up no problem. So I think it's all in how you hook it up. <clears throat> These two coals, I'm hooking one side directly up to the... I'm hooking one side directly up to the metal and the other side's being charged. And on this side the same thing. So I think what it's doing is running, it's keeping the coal like a little bit of energy stored in your coals. You know, just like a, how you run aluminum down copper. And it's, you know, it slows it down. I think, you know, the energy's kind of stuck in these coals. Because, I mean, this it ain't losing its charge. And, I mean, I wouldn't lie to y'all. This hasn't been charged since this morning. All right, I wanted to show y'all something else before we go any further. <clears throat> okay, in this video, I just wanted to show I've got a pickup coal. This is still charged up, still magnetic. I got a pickup coal that I'm going to be putting on here. The pickup coal is going to a bridge rectifier. From the bridge rectifier, it goes to this capacitor. That's the voltage that's in the capacitor. I'm going to short the capacitor out now. Capacitor's at zero. Now I'm going to tap the magnet on and off. 0.3 volts. I'm charging that capacitor just by smacking the front of this. Which proves that there is some kind of magnetism running through here. Uh, the pressure, the amount of pressure that you hit it with depends on how high the voltage goes, which is another kind of weird thing to me. If I smack it, I got up to one. But that's one volt from smacking it. If I just barely hit it, you know, it's 0.8. You know, if I smack it again, two volts. Smack it again, 2.5 volts. So uh, that's something to think about. You know, since he was moving, you know, two ton stones and 30 ton stones, maybe the pressure had something to do with the generating the current, you know. The more pressure them rocks put on, you know, if he had a pulley just to lift the, the rock up to put it on his stuff, you know, whatever machine he had, then just the pressure would, you know, cause the current. But who knows, we might figure it out. <clears throat> 